Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and in today's video we are going to do a what's in my bag. I got a few requests so I thought why not show you an update on my recent bag purchase. So let's get started. So this is the beautiful bag from the Wanderers Travel Co. I love this bag. It is made out of full green leather. This style of bag is called the San Multano. It is in the tan color, which is pretty much like a caramel brown to me. It is full green leather, but it's so, so soft, like really soft, unreal type of softness here. I've only had the opportunity to wear it a handful of times, probably once or twice a week since we've been at home, staying at home. And um, one thing that the leather does do is rub off um, from like dark materials onto the bag. So I do wear jeans a lot when I do leave the house and there is a little bit of something here, you can kind of see. I haven't treated my bag with any leather protectant, and that's just because I'm lazy, but also because I don't mind some character. Now, to get into this beautiful bag, I, um, let's just get started. <laughs> well, one of the things I do want to say is that it's not as, it's pretty full, but it's not as full as if I have been living in it on a normal basis. Because we are staying at home, pretty much everything that's in here is all the stuff I need to take with me to the grocery store or wherever I'm going. Usually over time, if this was like normal, normal day, not... COVID-19 type of day, then I would probably have a lot more junk in here as it would accumulate, but I don't. So right now, this is one of my planner pouches and in it I have a hand homemade like face mask that is terrible and um, I'm ordering some that are actually made by someone who can sew. I do have, of course, my wallet, which is a Vander Speck, and it is the Noir in the junior size. Next, I do have some lotion from Bath and Body Works. I always have to have some lotion in my purse. And then I have this cute little pouch from Fossil, which I purchased a long time ago, and it just holds some of my lip glosses and lipstick. I just love how it just snaps closed. Just a nice, satisfying sound. Um, then I have a Chic Sparrow uh, pouch bag. I forgot what they what she calls them, but I ordered this probably four, four and a half years ago, and it's in really good condition, full green leather. Um, inside, I have a pair of glasses and a towel rag for when I am on the go journaling. I do have a lot of pens in here, and I just use that when I do happen to take my fountain pens. If I'm going somewhere where I know I'll be journaling, then I have a bag specifically for those items. Then I have my keychain and this magnetic uh, phone case, only like half of it, always attached to this for some reason. But yeah, just have my keys. I have the postal pouch from Rowena. This is the Sojourner Postal Pouch, and in it I house my other sunglasses. These are from TIJN. They sent me these, and I'm going to tell you, these their products are wonderful. I've had this for about three months now, and half the time it's not in a pouch. It's just being tossed in here. I have not had any scratches 
on these sunglasses and they work perfectly outside. I don't have any issues with them. I love them, they're very comfortable. Then I have a, um, it's another case for sunglasses. Okay, I have three pairs of sunglasses. It's just what it is. This is a case from Madewell and it's a hard case, which is really nice. Um, I put some of my sunglasses that are not as resistant to scratches. So I'll put them in a harder case. That's pretty much all that's in the bucket of the bag. Then on the pocket here, kind of show you, get a good look in there. I have some more keys and these are just like the keys that go to my car. I don't want to put them on the key ring just because I don't want the key ring to be like too heavy when I have to actually put my keys in the ignition. So then I have just a pouch that holds just extra little nothings. <laughs> They're like other keychains and membership cards and things like that. My phone does fit in this pocket here since there's two on one side and then there's one zipper pocket on the other. Here I have more pens because I am a fanatic and you know me, you can never have too many pens. I also have a charging cord, some headphones, some medicine, that I put in the bag because the container was too big. Um, I have just a mirror that my mother-in-law got me. Some more lotion because I typically have more than one set of lotions in here. Lip gloss plumper. Some mascara and just itty bitty just random things so that's pretty much it and I'm pretty proud of myself for not getting this thing all junked up and gross on the inside um, I guess that's because of the situation that we're in and the fact that I don't have to be out and about um, or I shouldn't be out and about unless I need to be and so it's kind of helped me keep things clean in here so I'm just going to slowly put everything in. I really do like this bag. I do want to show you one thing. Here's my phone. And it just slides in really nicely in here. And then I have taken my planner with me, which is typically the A6. And when you compare the size, it does fit in here. And you won't... You can't see the top, so it's not like it's it's going to be too tight or anything like that. It fits in here pretty well with room to spare. And so that's why my junior just kind of, it just goes straight to the bottom and allows me to have a lot of room for everything else. But yeah, this I would say, I really like the fact that this strap is easy to maneuver, so whenever I do need it shorter or longer, depending on whether I'm at the grocery store and whether I have room in my grocery cart to put my purse. If not, then it goes around my shoulders. The fact that I'm not struggling, I can just easily pull this out and pull it back, that's really convenient because I have had purses where it's like, it takes me time to to maneuver this thing around but other than that this is my bag I hope you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful I did have a couple requests for showing what's in my bag 
showing how the leather is holding up. I don't have any scratches on it. Everything looks just brand new, except for the little mark here. But yeah, so if you're interested, definitely check out their site. I will put their information in the description box below. And I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.